Hello and welcome. The COVID-19 pandemic has triggered an avalanche of information, data, news, opinions, and even some myths and misinformation. This has resulted in some confusion, even panic and paranoia amongst the general public and raises serious concern about what to believe and how to trust. Based on carefully researched and peer review facts and adhering to globally accepted and authorized sources of confirmed data, it will be my sincere endeavor to address your concern and dispel your fear regarding the virus. I will begin with the latest issue of concern, the Omicron variant of COVID-19 virus. The fact is, Omicron is more transmissible or spreadable than the other variant. However, it is comparatively milder in virulence than even Delta. Many patients are asymptomatic or have relatively milder symptoms. Current tests and treatment regimens continue to be recommended for detection and management respectively. The COVID-19 virus and its mutation variants are here to stay. They will need to be managed just like any other viral or bacterial diseases like malaria, dengue, tuberculosis and other medical conditions like heart or lung problems. So the question is, what should we do? Unlike Delta variant that affects both the upper and lower respiratory tract, including the lungs, Omicron primarily affects the upper respiratory tract, which includes your nose or nostrils, nasal cavity, mouth, throat, and vocal cord. Therefore, to prevent Omicron and Delta infection, there are six simple precautions which you may take and may certainly help in preventing the infection and definitely reduces the severity of symptoms, especially of Omicron. One, gargle deeply with warm salt water or a medical mouthwash three to four times a day. Two, do simple steam inhalation two to three times a day. Three, avoid drinking cold water and chill beverages. Drink frequently hot water only. Fourth, practice some form of breathing exercise like pranayam, deep breathing for uh, at least five minutes daily. Five, indulge in 20 to 30 minutes of physical activity daily. The elderly and infirm can try as much as possible without overexerting themselves. Sixth, most importantly, we have to ensure that we wear the right fitting mask in the right manner. Use only government recommended three ply surgical mask or N95 mask. Avoid common cloth mask and fancy design mask. If necessary, use them only as a double mask over the recommended mask. Firstly, get fully vaccinated. It significantly reduces virulence of Delta and possibly Omicron variant of virus. Secondly, stay away from large and public gatherings like malls, theatres, celebration, 
and various events. You must also follow COVID appropriate behavior like wearing a mask, social distancing and frequent sanitization. What is important that you must follow your normal daily routine with caution. There is absolutely no need to panic. Let us together spread this message far and wide. Follow every Saturday new demystifying update on COVID-19, which is an area of concern to all of us. Finally, stay safe, stay healthy and thank you very much.